Hey everybody, this is Ripper of Ripper Gaming. Today I wanted to cover BIOS 323. I've been out for a little bit, I haven't been feeling that great, so sorry about not posting anything earlier, but uh, BIOS 323 came out today for the Ally, and so uh, it's a good video to get back into. So uh, first thing I need to point out is if you want to get BIOS 323, the easiest way to do it is go into My Asus, and then there'll be an update for it, and you can go ahead and download it. Uh, so that's something that... Uh, um, should be able to do unless you want to do it manually you can put it on a uh, like a jump drive or on a uh, SD card although I wouldn't recommend that yet um, and then update it from there now first thing to cover the thing that is not addressed in this BIOS is the micro SD card failures so um, we've seen lots of people report it could be due to heat due to all kinds of different things uh, but nothing is for sure at this point uh, I will say that just monitoring Discord and different uh, subreddits, that kind of thing, that there are some people testing with Linux and have been able to find that increasing the voltage seems to help. So um, maybe passing more voltage to it in order to keep it to consistently read with different SD cards. So uh, there may be something to that, and uh, I know that Asus is aware of that as well. So hopefully we get something good out of that. Now, if you do already have a fried micro SD card, um, I've reached out to Asus on uh, their Discord server. I'm not getting any feedback. I mean, I'm a small creator, so I understand that. But it would be nice if they told us if, if they're going to do anything about the fried SD cards. I will tell you, they probably won't. They're a big company. They're not going to refund people for purchases that were made um, from someone else. It's probably just not going to happen. But it doesn't hurt for me to keep asking. So... Anyway, let's get on to the uh, BIOS 323 changes. And uh, first thing is, it says they've added 30 watt support when plugging in a 65 watt or higher PD adapter through a type USB-C hub. So that's the good news. Now, there's some caveats to that, which I'll cover here in just a little bit. But good news overall. See, you can actually see that you're getting your full 30 watts when you're uh, gaming plugged in. So definitely positive there. So the next thing is they uh, modified the minimum panel backlight value um, from 25 nits to 10 nits. So really you don't normally want to go darker unless you like the game in the dark. So that, that's why they did that. So if you like to play games in bed before you go to sleep, you might not want it as bright. So they just uh, brought it down a little bit darker uh, so that you can do that. So if that's something you like to do, then this is good news for you. So the next thing is... They've got two things that they're calling UX improvements. I'm not quite sure how that's a UX improvement, uh, but the first thing is on future BIOS updates, the memory assigned to GPU won't change. So I've got mine set to four gigs. It's always been set to four gigs, and that's the default as far as I know. So I've never had an issue with this. But if you'd like to switch yours over to say eight or three or auto, I know people like to kind of play around with it with different games, uh, then it sounds like updating the BIOS would reset that. Uh, so that won't happen anymore. So that's kind of a minor inconvenience, but no longer has to be worried about. So the last thing is it says they've improved, or not improved, but optimized performance in the performance mode, which is the 15 watt mode when you're plugged in. So the only thing I can think here is maybe uh, adjusting the fan curves just to help it run a little bit cur um, uh, cooler. Uh, but at the same time, I don't, I mean, optimized performance doesn't necessarily mean it's better performance, uh, but so that's why I'm thinking it's a, a fan curve change. So um, the other thing that they mentioned is they're talking about the third-party docs and how basically how third-party docs and the ROG Ally communicate. And, and with any type of electronic device, there's basically a handshake. And it sounds like the issue is, is um, the way the handshake's working isn't communicating well. So the um, ASUS is thinking it's not getting enough power, even though it is. We've already seen that in our testing and in my video to show you how to get more power or to ensure you have enough power. You can see you're still getting your 30 watts, even if it didn't show it. Um, so what they've done here is they've basically set it up to where if you're plugged in and you're not getting enough power, you'll still be able to run at 30 watts. It will show it on the command center when you bring that up on the left side of the screen. So you'll be able to see that you're plugged in and getting the full 30 watts. So that's a win, that's a good thing. Uh, now on to the caveat. So I have multiple uh, different uh, docks. I have uh, multiple different power bricks and cables, and I've tried all of them. And every single one I've tried um, tells me that I'm not getting full power. They do give me the full 30 watts, but they tell me that I'm not getting full power. And so what that means is uh, 
if they're saying you're using 30 watts on full power, but your device isn't uh, providing enough, um, or your, your charger, your dock, whatever, is not providing enough power, that you might be drawing power faster than it's able to recharge it. So if you're at 100% and using a dock with full power, it shouldn't even hit the battery. It should just pass through and let you play off that off the plug-in. Uh, but in this case, it sees or it thinks that uh, it's using uh, more wattage than you have. Now I've tried this with multiple docks and I'll go ahead and show you through those just so you kind of know what I'm talking about. But so the first thing I want to show you is this Anchor 737. Uh, this is a power brick and with my cable it gets a full um, uh, wattage it doesn't give me any errors and it plays at 30 watts so that's great if you just want to have something and don't have a plug near you uh, and it'll last for quite a while um, so I've also got a whole set of docks here and I've tested each of these pretty quickly this is a new J Sox uh, that I got or JS Ox still not sure how you say that this is the one you've seen a lot of my videos um, and uh, this one uh, seems to work fine but that one I, well all of these i'm showing you get the air saying they're not getting enough power but they do run at 30 watts and i haven't seen the battery going down in fact when some of these say they don't have enough power i've seen the battery um going up so i'm, I'm still not sure if they need to fix something else here but that's just what i've seen in my testing so far and i've got this one from Inatech, and this is a new one that i'm going to be reviewing also and uh it seemed to run well and then i've got this one here, which is a little portable anchor. It's not really a dock. It's more of a USB-C hub, uh, but it's got the full 100 watt power delivery and I like to use it for if I'm on the road. Um, and then if you're wondering, this is the main uh, anchor right here that I've been using. And this is a 100 watt uh, PD block and it runs fine, uh, plugged directly in, just not when going through a dock. Now I did also test with the um, official uh, ROG Ally charger and going through any of these docks, it gives me the same thing. So both of the ROG Ally and the 100 watt PD charger from Anchor are giving me the exact same problem where it says I don't have enough power, but it lets me play at 30 watts anyway. Um, so that's good enough for me to play. It's just, it should really tell you it's got enough power if it does. So maybe that's something they'll still address. Uh, so that's why I was saying there's a caveat to it. Yes, it works. Yes, you have 30 watts. Um, but it's telling you that you don't still. Um, so, and, and I mean, some of these docs I've been sent for review and, uh, I mean, I'm just, I keep trying them. I, I usually don't have this many, um, but just, you know, same type of problem with each one I've tried. So anyway, um, hopefully that, that gives you an idea. BIOS, uh, 323, I am going to have to do some testing, probably testing with the same games I've tested in the past. See if there's any performance difference. I doubt there will be because there's nothing like that really addressed in this BIOS update. So it should be about the same as uh, the previous uh, BIOS as far as gameplay is concerned. Now, the other thing that I'd like to be able to report about now, but I can't yet, is there's also supposed to be a new Armory Crate update. And that's supposed to address some things, but the one that's most interesting to me is it's supposed to be able to address the ability um, to adjust your dead zone, or actually it's supposed to have the dead zone adjusted already uh, to improve desktop performance. Now, some people said, well, why not gaming performance? And I agree, if you're having issues, you should be able to have it run, you know, the way you want with dead zones or not. Um, uh, and if you if you have a dead zone set to zero, it should truly be set to zero. Uh, but I haven't really had issues on mine when playing games, and I don't know if I'm just lucky or what. Uh, but I have had issues on the Windows desktop. It's it's really hard to navigate with a thumbstick, um, and it makes me miss the uh, um, touch pads on my Steam Deck, um, although I still love this device, and, and I still think it's a better device. You know, it's still kind of a pain navigating with the thumbstick as a mouse. Uh, so if they can improve that with this update, that'll be great. So once that gets out, it's supposed to be out today. Once it does get out, I'll try and get it uploaded. Um, on my device or download it on my device and then try and make a video to upload for you all. So anyway, um, that's the news for today. Appreciate everyone for watching. I uh, appreciate a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and have a great one all.